Am I allowed to ask you one question, Sukin? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you talk about living like an acoustic lifestyle, kind of not a really mainstream media. Fast forward, you get the much music job. How did you find balancing between being part of the mainstream media with much music, but also still maintaining your lifestyle? And was doing um, the fish, uh, uh, the fish theater. Oh no, I forgot. Eyeball theater. Eyeball theater. My mistake. Was that kind of a way to keep? who you were as a person? Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm Chinese, I'm Cantonese, and if you act like a shithead and kind of like all fancy, it's not cool. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of like a big thing. But also, I just really love to be able to ride my bicycle and just be a human being. And I, I think um, what was great was demystifying celebrity. So, you know, I was a big fan of a lot of, a lot of stuff, and I still am. But working there every day and just seeing people as people and, you know, not having that hierarchy um, really helped me understand kind of something about just being a human. And so I think that's the most important thing is, like, to feel, you know, okay, walking around and you can talk to people and it doesn't have to be uh, a life lived on, you know, ent entirely controlled or anything like that. Does that did make you, sense? It, did you keep the Mr. Noodle costume? I did, and I had him in my basement for a very long time. And then he kind of disintegrated, and I just, I started to gather way too much stuff. So there was one day that he kind of fell apart, the foam all came apart, and I did have to say goodbye to him. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome.